Let's get to the facts. One in six black men have been incarcerated as of 2001. If current trends continue, one in three black males born today can expect to spend time in prison during his lifetime. Nationwide, African Americans represent 26% of juvenile arrests, 44% of youth who are detained, 46% of the youth who are judicially waived to criminal court, and 58% of the youth admitted to state prisons. 35% of black children grades 5 through 12 have been suspended or expelled at some point in their school careers compared to 20% of Hispanics and 15% of whites. About $70 billion are spent on corrections yearly. So how do we step in? The answer is simple. We intervene in pivotal stages of adolescence. By doing this, we ultimately preserve our youth and make a better society for us all. On average, teachers spend about 37 and a half hours a week with their students. This isn't counting after school functions and outreach on weekends. Students look to their teachers for guidance, especially young black males. So where are the black male educators? According to The Atlantic, black male educators average about five to seven years in the field of education before they change careers. Why? Look at my favorite student, man. <laughs> he dressed up today. <laughs> my name is Joseph McLemore, and I am a third grade math and science teacher in Tampa, Florida. I am also a graduate of Florida A&M University's esteemed College of Education. I believe that there are three reasons that African American males leave the field of education. One, it is the social status. Society has built the perception in our minds that teaching is a profession that is really for women. And especially an elementary school teacher Society has built the perception that that is for Caucasian American women. Me personally, being in a professional setting and having casual conversation, when it comes up that I am an educator and an elementary educator at that, the reactions I get are absolutely priceless. They are not the ones that you would expect of positivity, but more like bewilderment or why did you choose that field? I also believe that African-American males leave the field of education because of the salary. As a father and a single father, I have a very difficult time raising my children on $40,000. I've been teaching now for eight years and I think it's absolutely absurd the pay scale that I am on compared to other professions. I firmly believe that teachers and education is the foundation of every other career that it has ever been created. Without teachers, you wouldn't know how to read, how to write, how to add, how to multiply, subtract, nor would you learn the proper social skills. Last but not least, I believe that a lot of African American males leave the field of education because we are a bit undervalued. I teach in Tampa, Florida, and in Tampa, Florida, there are 150 elementary schools. Out of those 150 elementary schools, there are two African-American male principals. Now, is it just me or is it something wrong with that? All right, my name is LaShawn Gorey, former teacher of 18 years in the classroom. I officially retired two years ago to start another profession. Um, different reasons why I chose to leave the teaching profession, which I loved, but became hectic, became stressful, and it just wasn't what I thought that I would do for 30 years. You may well ask after 18 years why to change, basically because I like to do things that's fun. It stopped being fun, again it became stressful, and more demanding of time and what I had for my family and what I had designed for my family 
it just wasn't economically possible with a teaching salary. Um, what amazed me and still to this day baffles me is when I changed careers to a career that you don't need a college degree in, which is a corrections officer, again, it baffles me that after 18 years of teaching, I went into being a corrections officer. And mind you, I worked overtime. But in my first year of being a corrections officer for the city of Atlanta, I made $13,000 more than I ever made in my teaching career. And again, that baffles me that I could go somewhere and work where I didn't need a college degree and make $13,000 more in one year than I did in 18 years. So that's a huge reason why I left the profession. It's because I don't think we're that well respected, especially in America, than, we, than teachers are around the world. I feel like teachers, firefighters, police officers should be some of the highest paid professions in the world, at least in our country. But unfortunately, we are some of the least respected as far as being professionals. Um, I don't care what you do in America or basically around the world. If you're going, talking about going to a profession, you can go from the president to CEOs of any company to anywhere as being professional. You have to have teachers. Okay, um, I just think that black men lead the profession of teaching lack of support, um, lack of discipline, and we came up in a generation where discipline was key. Nowadays, it's just a lack of support from parents, sometimes administrators, and sometimes parents. And all of society's ills have been placed upon the back of teachers. And I just think that with us not being able to say what we really feel and sometimes do what we think needs to be done to help our students, it causes us to leave in a short amount of time. Good evening, my name is Dr. Preston Charles, uh, district administrator. Um, served as a school administrator for about six years in uh, Leon County, St. Lucie County, and Duval County in Jacksonville, Florida. So I do have some um, experience in, in this field. The question was asked, um, why do I feel that black males are leaving um, the field of education? And it could be so much to be covered on this, but I'll give you just three points. Um, you know, education is becoming very diverse, and you know, with the population, but it's not being reflective in um, with bringing in um, diverse teachers. The number one reason I say is working conditions. When those black males do get these opportunities, they put us in the, the rural schools or, or the schools, the inner city schools and or the turnaround schools and expect us to be automatically disciplinarians. Um, they burn us out. They, they make us become more managers instead of leaders. Um, another, another reason that sticks out to me is the lack of mentoring within the working condition. So it has been a struggle for people to guide us. So we kind of are trying to like shooting in the dark at times. Another reason is the, the lack of respect from our colleagues that we can be intellect, intellectuals and that we can add to the body of work in our schools, especially on the curriculum side. So they feel like we can just um, talk about discipline and things of that nature. Um, the second reason is the lack of upward mobility. We do want to find ourselves becoming assistant principal principals one day, but unless you're political to a certain extent or if you want to really to give up your soul, you don't get those opportunities. So it kind of is very disappointing to get into the field of education for that. And the third and final reason is salary. The salaries that they're paying teachers in the education is not enough for us to take care of our family, especially as being men. There were taught to be breadwinners and, and sole providers of our homes at times, but with these kind of salaries, we can't do it, so we're working multiple jobs. 